Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be taking a first look at gold mythic Thanksgiving Tyrese who will be a character to feature in the upcoming event Bountiful Bites. This event should start on Friday the 19th of November. More information on that event to follow but we are going to be looking at Tyrese right now and visually he is not really like a Tyrese we've seen before. He's kind of like a Herschel we've seen before which is uh, commonly known as Turkey Herschel. I think this is going to be Turkey Tyrese pretty much from here on out. But he has got a turkey strapped to his back. He has also got orange grenades. Not sure what's going on there. Default shotgun in his hands. He's got a nice little hat there, of course. On the left-hand side, we can see um, we can see a, like a blunderbuss. It's kind of like a, a very um, dangerous-looking shotgun-style weapon. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe it's an actual turkey weapon? I've got no idea. I've got no idea about the, the sort of symbolism around um, Thanksgiving. A couple of people on my stream recently realized that not everybody in the world celebrates Thanksgiving. If you're not in America, it's pretty much, I've got no idea what I'm looking at right here. If there's anything like the, the orange grenade actually mean anything, someone's gonna have to tell me. What I see is he's wearing a crocodile Dundee hat. That's all I can see. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. But we're gonna look at the uh, the stats here as a Limit Break 2 level 680 character. He has got 17,783 attack, 14,039 defense, and 14,975 HP. He is a tough character, of course, holding that shotgun. He is considered a controller, a mythic character, and he is another character who is a member of the Allegiance Holiday Heroes. So first up, we'll check out his Adrenaline Rush, and it is called Turkey Shoot. It's a 66 AP cost rush. Make two attacks against an enemy for 300% damage, 600% total. Up to two enemies get stunned for one turn. This is pretty straightforward. I don't think we've had any sort of controllers that do sort of this sort of damage. Maybe Yumiko, I guess. This weapon would obviously take into effect things like double attack, Rampage if you so wished as well. So you could gear him out to do uh, quite a reasonable amount of damage. It's quite similar to, I think it was Dwight in the six star era. One of the first tough characters to come out. Actually the very first character to come out with these multi-hit rush styles. But Dwight didn't control anybody. So that is actually quite interesting. We'll see if he takes somebody out. If the two enemies that get stunned are other enemies. Basically like old school Shiva or S-Class Michonne. I love these characters. You can refer to these characters in terms of how they worked. And everyone knows what I'm talking about. So let's have a little check and see how this rush works. Okay, so we have got Turkey Tyrese's rush up and we are going to just rush Garrett. What we want to see is if we take him out, do two other people get stunned? Let's see. I have got a Rampage weapon in his hand as well, so it could actually get a bit crazy. Let's see what happens. He is going to be able to take out one and a second. And I can't tell. I can't tell. Ah, there we go. We do actually have a stun of Maggie. And we have a stun of Dr. Stevens. So he did, in fact, stun two characters for one turn. But he managed to take down two just because of, obviously, the double attack. It did rampage once, I think. But um, obviously, that can be pretty devastating depending on how high you have your lieutenant system, what sort of weapon you put in his hands, mods, leader skill, buffs. It all adds up. So if we look at the upgrades on this rush, you can see that it only has the one upgrade so far at grade 5. It gets the plus one stun target. So initially it will be stun one enemy for one turn. It could be the target if you don't take them out. But if you take them out, it should stun someone else as I just showed you in the clip. But it goes to two enemies once it get, this character gets to grade 5. And obviously two is, is nicer than one when it comes to the amount of characters that you're going to be able to control. Now this looks like a prime suspect for Limit Break 3 upgrades. And I will obviously be showcasing the Limit Break 3 upgrades on all of the characters that have been released so far in the game over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise he does do quite a nice piece of damage. And considering he is a control character, it means he will have precision as one of his passives. This means that this control is much more likely to hit on characters that have 100% stun resist, for instance. They will actually have 60% stun resistance instead. It's a flat reduction if you do manage to max out the precision, precision 1, precision 2, it adds together to minus 40% resists. And that means you have a chance to stun people who have 100% resist. And it obviously means any sort of resist, be it from specialist skills, mods, or buffs. 
Now Tyrese's signature move is called Bird of Prey. It has got an initial cooldown of turn one, cooldown of two turns, number of uses unlimited. Make a critical attack against an enemy for 100% damage. This character and one other teammate get 50% attack and focus for two turns. So you can get a turn one focus on a team without someone like having Negan in the team. You could potentially have him in a team with Negan leader. And then if all of the focuses get cleansed turn one, you can save his signature move for turn two and then give someone else and Tyrese here some focus to bypass shields or to have a better chance of not getting controlled by things like a fuse and taunt. So that's actually pretty decent. Now this is a guaranteed critical hit, so it will be a guaranteed rampage attack if you were to attack with this. It is only 100% damage, but it will be a crit damage hit with that 100%, and that will mean it will be amplified damage there. Okay, so it's pretty simple. We're just going to do his signature move off of turn one. We are going to target um, Garrett down here, we are holding the Rampage weapon again, so it'll be a guaranteed Rampage attack, and you're going to see some Splash come in, because a crit means a Rampage, that's how it works. You can see that the 50% attack went to himself, and he also got the, the Focus for two turns. But you can also see that it went to someone else who already had Focus, but they had it for one turn, now it's been upgraded to two, but they also got the 50% attack. So if you do this first turn, you can potentially give it to someone who could get a bonus because of that. You can see Herschel has now got a 50% attack bonus on his signature move, which is going to be nice. It does also mean that if I was to gain AP from hitting a crit here, the next turn, Herschel's rush or even um, Tyrese's rush could potentially get amplified if I was to command or if he's to get attacked. Now, it is worth noting that it's complete RNG on the second character. It could have gone to Rick or Glenn, which wouldn't have been ideal as the support characters, but it will always go to Tyrese. So if you want that attack buff to work with his adrenaline rush, because he only gets that for one turn, it includes the turn that he receives it, and then only the following turn, you should potentially wait until turn two to do the signature move, just so that you've got more chance of guaranteeing that he's actually gonna have the buff for uh, for turn three on his adrenaline rush turn. If we look at the upgrades here, you can see, at grade two, it gets minus one cooldown, so it goes from a four turn cooldown to a three turn cooldown at uh, grade three it gets minus two to starting cooldown so it goes from a three turn starting cooldown to a first turn starting cooldown so that's really important but grade three is pretty easy to come by grade four adds two turns to the focus so initially it doesn't have focus on it at all limit break one does another minus one to cooldown so it goes from three turns down to two turns and then lastly, at limit break two, it gets a 20% attack up boost. And that, I think the attack up is on the actual buff. So it goes from 30% to 50% so that he will get a slightly better buff once it is at limit break two. Now, next up, we have Turkey Tyrese's mythic abilities, which are going to be his passive skills, of course. First up, he is a controller, so he's going to get that precision. That means that his stun is more likely to actually proc against other characters, whether they've got the resist or not, like I said before. Next one is Sitting Ducks. This character gets 40% crit damage multiplier against enemies in the front row. We have got characters that have damage against people in the back row and that is going to be Andrea and she normally holds a sniper rifle, her default weapon is a sniper rifle whereas Tyrese's default weapon is more of a shotgun which makes a bit of sense, which makes a bit of sense. The next one is called Foul Play. When this character kills an enemy, 30% chance up to two enemies get impaired for two turns. So if he takes someone out, there's a good chance that he's going to have um, some extra control and that's going to work with his precision as well where they've got less chance to resist it because he is a control character lastly he has got birds of a feather at the start of each turn all tough teammates get 60 crit this is going to be fantastic if you are going to try and run a heavy rampage attack team it does obviously mean that um, people are going to crit more often with this on them and it's going to work for Tyrese himself you probably saw him with a 60 crit buff in the clips before and that is where he was getting it from so we'll start a new attack and you can see I'm now using a tough character in here as well. It's Conrad as the leader and he is getting that 60 crit boost. It's going to be every single tough character, not a limited number, every single tough character. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and take out a character and see if we can get that buff to, uh, to proc. Let's see if we can. As we take one out, we did not have it proc this time around, but we might be able to get it to proc afterwards. Let's have a little C.
Okay, we're going to go for some more crits. And let's see. Is anyone going to get impaired? I did see an impair pop up on Maggie. So there's going to be impairs and stuns. So if he takes people out, he's got a potential where he could stun two and impair two. It's not necessarily going to go to the same characters every time. These are just the last two alive. It is only 30% chance, so it's not going to happen every time. But it's going to be a nice little bonus when it does. It does also mean, if you haven't realized already, that whether an alert character is front row or back row now, they have a massive character to come in to do damage against them. Tyrese for front row and Andrew for back row. And I can see these characters working quite well together just because of that nice crit buff. If we look at the upgrades here, you can see at grade one, he gets the first half of sitting ducks. So he gets the 20% the crit damage multiplier against those front row characters. Precision one at grade two. Sitting Ducks at Grade 3, that's the second half of that, and they obviously will stack together. Next up is Foul Play at Grade 4. Then we have Birds of a Feather 1 at Grade 5. Precision 2 at Grade Limit Break 1. And lastly, we have Birds of a Feather 2 at Limit Break 2. So it looks like the only one so far that hasn't got a buff is Foul Play. So we'll have to see what happens when Limit Break 3 comes around. But if that gets a boost on the potential chance of it actually procking when he takes out an enemy, that is going to be very handy. Now lastly on Thanksgiving Tyrese's main kit, he is his specialist skill and it is Neutralize. And he's keeping with the uh, Thanksgiving roots within RTS as Turkey Herschel was also a Neutralize character. This is going to play into the fact that he is a controller. It's going to work with precision as well so people are going to be less likely to resist this. It's going to be pretty decent. When this character attacks a human target that has 80% or more adrenaline, that target will be impaired for one turn. We know how it works. It used to just stop someone from rushing, but now it actually impairs them. And this, I mean, it's been like that for quite a while, but that does mean it can be cleansed. Just FYI, it can be cleansed and it can also be resisted. But like I said, because he is a control character, it's less likely to actually happen. Impaired characters cannot gain AP or use adrenaline rushes. We knew that part already, but it means that um, any follow-up damage on a character that he obviously impairs will not be able to gain AP if they're at like 80%. So they won't even get maxed out rush, but they, even if they were at maxed out rush, they wouldn't be able to rush the next turn, which is very handy. Now, otherwise, of course, Tyrese does not have an attached weapon. He has the default shotgun, so you can put whatever you want in his hands. I was utilizing a double attack rampage weapon, and that could work very well because he's going to have crit bonuses from his own kit. So he could actually give himself a better chance to hit rampages. He's going to give himself attack buffs on his signature move, and if you time it right, it could work with the rush. So it turns those individual hits of 300% into individual hits of 450%, 900% total. That could actually be pretty decent. His damage output is not going to be as good as a damage dealer's just because he will not have agility. But otherwise, if you give him the right weapon and he gets his attack stat up nice and high, he's going to hit very hard. So this was Thanksgiving Tyrese. And like I said, he is going to be a character as part of the Bountiful Bites event. Just keep an eye out for more information on that. The only questionable thing about his kit is the fact that he is a control character. But he does have some control in his kit, so it makes sense. It's just, I, I, I kind of don't mind so much because you do have a lot of characters on defense teams that specifically target damage dealers or damage roll characters and give them attack down. Whereas that's not going to happen against Tyrese, so his damage output is never going to be nerfed because of that. And he can still do, I think, pretty decent amounts of damage if, uh, if geared correctly. Do give me your thoughts, though, on Thanksgiving Tyrese. That is going to be the end of my video, guys. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.